Poor living conditions, bad treatment and lack of communication are just a few of the complaints reported to First Coast News this week by former Happy Acres ranch employees. And now families are coming forward accusing the child care center of overbilling. On your side, Taylor Levesque has been following this story closely. Taylor, some families say they are just struggling to get their money back. That's right, parents of children enrolled at Happy Acres Ranch this summer say hundreds of dollars was unexpectedly withdrawn from their bank accounts by the facility this week. They say it's much more than what they had been paying for childcare and attempts to get answers from Happy Acres Ranch about why have been ignored. Well, I've always encountered um, account issues with them um, and just the lack of communication um, if there was any. Sandra, who asked not to be on camera, says her kids were students at Happy Acres Ranch until the end of June when both caught COVID-19 amid the center's outbreak. I paid them on July 1st $370, which was two weeks in advance because we thought they were going back. But grandmother Cindy, who helped pay for the kids to go to camp, says they never went back after arguments with staff over lost paperwork led to the family receiving a withdrawal letter from the facility. The letter says the camp feels the family treated their staff rudely. It says, good afternoon. I'm reaching out on behalf of my staff to inform you that after this day, 713, we can no longer provide care. Cindy and Sandra say since then they have repeatedly attempted to get a refund of the $370 for the weeks the kids did not attend after getting kicked out, but no luck. Whenever I asked them for the refund, like they said that I would have to go and they sent me an email link, which was, you know, which was invalid. non-existent. It was invalid. And now they say they lost even more money this week. The money was $500 was taken out of the account. Cindy says she will take further action. I'm going to the state attorney's office if I do not get a refund back. This school needs to be closed. We visited Happy Acres Ranch again today, but employees declined to comment on the matter. However, in an email sent to parents yesterday provided to us by a parent, Happy Acres Ranch acknowledged the billing complaints and said the billing issues and concerns have been brought to our attention. For any parents affected by the most recent billing changes, we will be issuing full refunds accordingly as soon as possible. In the newsroom, Taylor Lebeck, First Coast News on your side.